everyone. This is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today is October 1st, kind of health and life update. Let's get started and talk about it. Most frequently asked question, Money Mom, is your neck still broken and when are you getting the neck brace off? Well, I don't know if my neck is still broken and I won't know until October 15th when I have my next doctor appointment, but I will tell you some positive news. While I'm at home and in the safety of my home, I no longer have to wear the neck brace. So you guys won't see me in a neck brace. Now, if you see some videos with me with a neck brace, it's either because I'm out and about, because when I go out and I ride in a car or I'm out in public, because I can't take a chance of me falling, getting knocked over, and riding in a car getting jarred around, I'm still wearing the neck brace while I'm out, but I'm home 80% of the time. So I don't have to wear it here, which is a blessing. So I just wanted to share that. I do have a nurse that comes once a week to do a wellness checkup. She says I'm doing great and my blood pressure keeps coming down, which is good because it was kind of high at, during the accident and my first few weeks and I have a lot of pain. It was in the upper 130s. Now the last time I took it, it was 106 over 62, which is really good. So I'm very pleased about that. And so the nurse is very pleased with my progress. I have physical therapy twice a week, comes to the house, wonderful guy really super nice he says he has seen some progress and he said that I don't have full range of motion which is normal his main thing that he wants me to be cautious of and also my doctor is number one don't fall really try to avoid a crowded situation where you might get knocked around any kind of jarring and they prefer that I don't climb and if something is giving me a lot of pain or discomfort please pull back on it don't try to overdo it those are the main things I wanted to share. I have to tell you, I am really glad to not wear the neck brace at home. It's so much nicer to not have to sleep with it because when you sleep with it, it kind of chokes you like. And so it's kind of tight and it does get a little warm and we did have a hot summer. So those are the news about that. So I wanted to share all of that. Also, I wanted to share, I did get a book from Amazon mailed to me I'm not sure if one of you mailed it, but declutter at the speed of light. So thank you for whoever sent this. There was no card with it. I will read it. I love reading and I've read over 80 books so far in 2022. So I wanted to share that. So thank you very much for that. And my daughter and I have been working on decluttering. And guess what? My husband's also decluttering because he needs to do his space because it's his things and we need to do our space. So I'm really excited about that. Nothing to do with health, but in a way it is because it makes me feel good. Also, I have to say that I have resigned from a couple of the scheduling positions and I'm really enjoying who I'm scheduling with right now. I also, you know, I'm doing the product demos, which I really love. I love YouTube, I love Patreon. So I'm really in a good place with how I'm making money right now and I'm really happy. I also have some fabulous, wonderful friends and family that just are so much fun to be around. So I feel like my days are really joyful right now because I'm surrounding myself with awesome people like you guys. So that's really good too. So things I feel like are going well. You know, I want to start doing goal videos again. I used to do them and I might make them two to three minutes long and we could just share our goals, whether it's financial, health goal, you know, a personal development goal, could be anything. I'd like to start doing those again and I will maybe start resuming those maybe in November. So, on to the health. Um, one of the things I was gonna tell you is, I'm gonna tell you some positive news. Number one, I started now every morning drinking a vegetable drink and I feel really good. And it's a vegetable drink where I'm getting my eight servings of fruits and vegetables a day and I feel so energetic after I have that. I know I've told you guys I've been all these different eating plans. The eating plan that I felt the best on, the one that I got the best results was low carb. The one I felt the best was modified paleo. Reason why is I ate tons of produce. And the more vegetables and fruits I eat, the better I feel and the more energy I have. So I was in a really good place with that. So have I, you know what, I didn't even weigh myself this morning to be frank with you. I don't even know what I weigh. I know I haven't lost any weight. What I tried doing last month was intermittent fasting, which I've kind of done, and I tried doing OMAD, like the one meal a day. What's good about it is you're full for a long time, 
But what I didn't like is it was like I had to eat all this food at once and it was just too much and then it took me a lot of time to eat it. So I like having an eating window, but I don't like doing the eating once a day. So what I'm doing now, and the reason why I think I've not been doing well is because, let's be honest, I love to eat. But one of the reasons why I used to do well is I had a plan. I knew what I was gonna have for breakfast, I knew what I was gonna have for lunch, and I knew what I was gonna have for dinner. So something that I'm gonna be incorporating in October is I'm packing myself a lunch every day so if I'm working from home, and I do take something with me when I do my demos. So let's say I might put an apple and some yogurt. Um, I'm just making this up off the top of my head. Oh, I might have a little salad on the side, maybe some hummus and crackers, something like that, whatever. But I'll pack it all in here the night before. So when my lunch comes, I'll know what I'm eating. Because part of the reason is I'm always trying to grab. And oh, what's to eat? And I have no plan. So I'm going to start packing a lunch every day for me at home and when I'm out. And so I think that's going to help. And I'm also going to have my breakfast ready to go in the morning so I know what I'm going to eat so I can grab and go. So that's kind of what I'm going to be doing. I do want to tell you guys one thing before signing off. I saw a wonderful video. I know I've mentioned her before. Nicole Collette, her husband Kyle, they both lost 130 pounds. They've kept it off for almost eight years. She did a video recently that is probably one of her best videos about how they lost 50 pounds in three months. She's done it before, but she tells you some things that she did. I posted it on my community tab. I got a lot of nice compliments about it. I think the video is very encouraging and very helpful. So I'm going to link it below. If you decide to visit Nicole's channel and you want to mention Money Mom sent you, I'd appreciate it. So just wanted to share with you, November 1st, I'll let you guys know what I weigh. I just totally forgot to weigh myself, but I know I haven't lost any weight, okay? So I will just say that because I can feel that I haven't lost any. So I'll let you know in November, but I'm going to start packing my lunch and planning my meals and meal prepping them the day before so I know what I'm eating the next day. That's what I did for my lower carb. That's what I did when I kind of more paleo-ish. So that's about it. What do you guys think of me without the neck brace? Also, before signing off, come back tonight because I am doing a clothes decluttering where I show you the clothes that I got rid of and I show you what the closet looks like after I got rid of a lot of the clothes. So you can come back. Actually, to be honest with you, I don't know if it looks that much different because the clothes closet's small, but there is definitely a difference and I like how I organized it. So that's all I have to say for now. What goals are you working on for October? What's new with you in your life? You know I love to hear from you. That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And like always, I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.